question and answer starts now. You like those moves? You like my long johns too, don't ya? I just blasted out a coffee video with that nifty thing. If you're a coffee drinker, you probably know what it is. If not, you'll find out soon enough. So here's the thing, folks. I am absolutely living in mayhem right at the moment because I have 16 different projects going on here at camp. I was filming videos. I was trying to clean some stuff up. I have a fire going. I have coffee being made. There's coffee stuff scattered all throughout the ground. But I'm gonna get this done this week. Here's what I came up with. Now, last week, there was no question and answer due to prepping for the advanced bushcraft class. That is, from a uh, business owner's point of view, instructor's point of view, it's mayhem. Now, not in a bad way, there's just a lot of prepping that goes on to have a nice, smooth class. And I strive my hardest, no joke, to make every class super smooth for the students. We really don't even run into too many snags other than our buddy Joe who got lost. You gotta come to the school to hear that story. But everybody else that came to that class did an awesome job. Everybody passed, so great job, everybody. Um, you wanna see their pictures, go on our Facebook page. Also, if you don't follow us on Facebook, go give us a thumbs up. Also, check me out on Instagram. I do all kind of awesome stuff on there. My Insta story is pretty sweet. All right, so let's just get into the questions and uh, I'll try to answer it as much as possible. I love the whole phone setup and, okay, let's jump back a second. I also love that somebody caught on there like that paper you're reading from, that was the Facebook questions. You are right, you're right. I don't have it this week though. <laughs> okay, let's get in here and get started. Oh my, uh, before I get started, this was my thing. Now I'm gonna, I'm doing this because the screen's, listen. So, I'm gonna probably run question and answer every other Wednesday. If I do it every Wednesday, I'll just do it. If I wanna do it every other Wednesday, I'll do that because it's my channel. But the reason for that is there is no reason for that. I just thought that would probably maybe be easier for me. Okay, so um, last question and answer was, um, we're gonna start off with the 151 rum because I did a video on it then and it seemed like people liked it. But Blue Angel, now they're saying it's a fart. I gotta wrap my head around lighting a fart with a ferro rod. Can you do it? I'm gonna say if it's a, a big enough fart, Yes, it's just gonna take some time for my gears to turn, and once I figure it out, you'll be the first to see, all you viewers. Would you bush drink with Bigfoot? Yeah, I would definitely. I'd also sh share my shelter with him. He probably stinks. I feel like if there was a Bigfoot that its hair is very matted and dirty, it doesn't take care of itself, bugs in the hair. Yeah. Why did it take a week for YouTube to notify me of this question and answer? Grr, LOL. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, you can go on my page, click the little bell. Is that what you do? I'm looking over there as if the squirrels know. I think you click the little bell notifications and then get all the notifications so you see this smiling face on the page for you. Okay. Um, how much does your bushcraft pack weigh? I, I'm gonna have to get a scale. Do you want some more mead? If you do, cherry, blueberry, hibiscus. Hibiscus? That's what one I want. I don't even know what that is, but that's what I want. Should I know what that is? I feel like I should know what that is. Okay, I'll take that. Patriot Ike. I guess that's how you say it. Send it to us. Phone number's on the web. No, not phone number. You're not gonna send it to my phone number. My brain is scattered today. Scattered. Let me drink some more coffee. Maybe it'll get us back a bit. I should probably put some whiskey in this. Hey Dan, love the series. I always learn and laugh when I watch you. As an example, I'm gonna buy my 16 year old son liquid smoke instead of Axe body spray from now on. That's what I'm talking about. It's gonna catch on. I started wearing it last week. I cannot keep the women away. It's making my wife crazy. I'm like, man, I just walk in the shopping mall, Walmart, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond if we have time, flocking to me. It's unbelievable. Liquid smoke, who would have thought? Hey Dan, can we drink at your classes? Unfortunately, you can't drink at the classes just because of safety issues and I wanna make sure everybody's safe while they're here, um, so you can't do that. Now, if you do come through all our classes and you're at the Bushman class the last night, we usually have a toast with uh, some type of ale or what did we have last year? Mead or cider, something like that. So you do get to have a drink then. 
but otherwise, sorry. Did somebody say coal cracker bushcraft and Joe Robinette? And then there's a tent, a canoe, and a fishing pole emoji. I don't, I never met Joe. I don't know Joe at all. I guess if Joe wants to go out on a canoe, we'll go on a canoe. Hey Dan, I'm looking for a small container to put vegetable oil in to carry in my rucksack. It has to be heavy duty with a screw on lid, so it won't blow apart in my bag. Any suggestions? Yes, I do have suggestions. So you buy the five hour energy shots, crush some energy. It doesn't have to be five hour energy. Any kind of little shot bottle like that is gonna work fine. They're plastic, so they can sort of like get beat up real hard. They have a nice screw lid and you're set. I use them all the time for different liquids. A bug just flew in my ear. Literally, it's inside my head buzzing around right now. Cliff, Blue Angel is also lighting a fart. Well, thanks Cliff for now jumping in after what is this, three episodes until I figure this out? Thanks. Oh, okay, so um, this comment I actually read before, um, and I gotta read it again because it makes me laugh every time. John Monty, I've never been too impressed by your beard. Oh, well, thanks, John, but it gets, it gets better. I'll tell you why. But now that I know it's partially made up of chest hairs that you couldn't find room to glow, grow on your chest due to shots of 151 rum that you knocked back with total disregard, for the impact that said shots have on said chest hairs over crowded conditions. I like it better. Alcohol makes me more accepting. How about you? <laughs> so basically, because I kill the shots, my chest hair is so thick that it just pops out of my face. <laughs> Where do you people come up with this stuff? Sometimes I get like, what is happening? What is happening? Now this is the kind of stuff that I love. Paul B. See, I wish he had more than that Paul B because there's a lot of Paul B's out there. But when I read it, you'll probably be like, he just read my question. I did Paul B. I'm new to your channel and I'm really enjoying and learning. And I have to thank you for getting me back into the woods and taking my sons. It's been an excellent bonding experience with them. And that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, going out and having a good time. And I know I preached this before, but now I'm gonna preach it again. If I had my altar, I'm at a different side of the school property, so I had my altar. Somebody said to build a stage and have bodyguards along with that podium. I call it an altar, podium, whatever. Mayor, president, whatever. My point being that at the end of the day, as long as people are going out and having a good time, maybe utilizing some of this stuff, maybe not. If you're getting outside and having a good time, I'm a happy camper. That is pun intended. Happy camper, happy you're going out. It's all good stuff. Would you ever consider going back and doing a loan again? But what I would say to that is no, two reasons. I've done that, I'm over it. I don't wanna go through that again. Secondly, I don't wanna go through that again. Third, my business is very busy. So to leave for an extended amount of time, even if I was only gone, let's say 20 days, let's say that's all I lasted or something. I think I would definitely last longer than that, but let's say 20 days or 25 days. That's a nightmare for a business owner to leave their business when they have a lot of stuff going on. So I would have to say no. Paul Jones, note taken, don't drink with you. Anyone that can take 151 like that needs new liver. <laughs> I am accepting applications. Metrex Apple Crisp is my go-to camping backpacking breakfast. I had two this past weekend, Element, Bushcraft, and Survival. They are awesome, right? I'm out, so I'm like, mm, they make jelly donut ones that I recently started eating. They're not as good though. They're just not, you gotta almost like warm them up a little bit. Hey Dan, this is yet another Dan. Mellow Bear wrote this. I guess Mellow Bear, his name is Dan, but his name on here is Mellow. I'm, I'm just trying to put some names out there so people feel like I'm actually talking to them and not just reading a question, okay? So Mellow Bear writes, hey Dan, this is yet another Dan. Oh, hey Dan from Dan. I was wondering if Cole Cracker falls down drunk in the woods and there is no one there to hear him, does he still make a sound? We can probably fix that. You, you don't even know what it's like, squirrel. Living. Do you ever carry a folding knife? If so, what kind? I do carry two different kinds. Sometimes I carry my uh, Gerber knife, which I don't have today. So today I have my, uh, this is actually my son's. This is like the first folding knife I bought him, but then I somehow just, I took it back. So uh, Swiss Army, I don't know which one this is. I know everybody's gonna say which one is it. I wish it said on here. Blade, bottle opener, saw. 
I mean, that gets everything done. I like the saw feature. I maybe wish it had an awl on it, but uh, it's not like a deal breaker with the awl. But if it's all saw blade, good. I, I cut more boxes and envelopes open with that thing or a piece of cordage than anything. More utility for me than in the woods, so, okay. Did I just see a fire truck or was I hallucinating again? Um, partial hallucination, fire truck. The fire truck that went through in that scene, sometimes because how the school's positioned, we have a like a highway that's about a mile away and it just echoes along the mountain. So like if a truck hits, it's like brakes real hard and Jake brake and it's like wah, 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 wah. You just hear it going. It picks it up in the audio. And because where I put the, the bush altar thing, it picked up and I was like, I'm not editing that out. I'm just gonna put a fire truck in here because it's gonna, it'll play in. Obviously you're hallucinating though, know, cause you didn't hear, I don't know. There was a fire truck. Is it true Dan V likes tuna fish in a can? Uh, no comment, no comment, Will, no comment. You rock Dan, what are your favorite pair of socks? So this is gonna throw people for a loop. My favorite pair of socks are literally crew height. So like a little bit above the, like above the ankle, like this height. See that height? Hanes. I don't, I don't ever wear expensive socks. I have expensive socks. I've bought expensive socks in the past. I grab my Hanes every morning. Hanes socks, I, don't, I even like them more than Fruit of the Loom. I don't know what it is. They've always done well for me. Now when I go to bed, I have big heavy wool socks, which I have with me. All right, I don't know where these came from. There's leaves and stuff in them. Let's see if there's a, there, you see how they're just big, right? 100% wool, there's no, like there's a little bit of elastic here, but not much. So at night when I'm sleeping or just hanging out by the campfire, I can take these socks, I take my other socks off, I give them a chance to dry, I wear these bad boys, and my feet always stay warm in them. So this is my nighttime sock, Hanes. I don't know what you call that. I feel like it's a crew sock, but I, I'm gonna say that's gonna the crew's below the ankle. Crew, we're going with crew. You saw the height, the length, I just showed it to you. What oil skin tarp did you have when showing shelters with Townsend's? Um, I'll be honest, I don't remember because I have just oil skin that I sewed together that didn't have tie outs to really replicate like long hunter air, like they had maybe just shards of material that they sewed together. So it might've been that one. I do have Kent Smith's ones, but um, super early notice for everybody, we are going to be making tarps. We have material, we've been sewing some samples. I'm excited about that, super excited. So you just buy a coal cracker one when they come out. It should be out sooner than later. People really like the ultralight skit, and um, I'll tell you, I'm still, I'm gonna still stay on page with that, that that's the reality, that if you're not like tip top and you're going and you can't carry some weight, beat it, lose some weight. Don't beat it, but all right. All right, Seven Archers, I again apologize. I feel like I drop the ball sometimes on videos and I always am like, yeah, I need to do that video and then guess what happens? I don't do the video. Seven Archers um, asked, and a while ago I said I was gonna do this and I literally, okay, I'm not gonna keep rambling on. How to take a bunch of small blankets, make a bigger blanket that's square. Cause you gotta do some measuring, some cutting and how would you sew it and that stuff. Simplistic on one hand, you gotta do it the right way the other hand. If you make yourself a nice big square blanket, oh, they're glorious to sleep with, glorious to sleep with. So we'll do that. Do I have it? Yeah, I should have, we're gonna use the green military blankets for that one. I think I have blankets at the, at the trapping house. We'll get on that. I, again, I apologize for slacking with that. What's your suggestion for the first time wood carver? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking me there. Like wood choice, knife choice, what? Um, you don't want a big knife. I mean, you just want something small and just start. Just start doing it with whatever you got and then go from there with it. Use green wood too. A lot of people start with dry wood because they're like, oh, dry wood, I could use it. And they have this knife that's not sharp and they're just nightmare and then they never get after it. Green wood, sharp knife, golden. Black Hat Bushcraft loves to rant about ultralight is my wheelhouse. Wheelhouse is like an inside joke with a bunch of us. Um, Black Hat Bushcraft, go check them out, follow them. Matt Mercer, great guy, wheelhouse.
He's not the wheelhouse, but we know wheelhouse. Wheelhouse. Nick Tan. Nick, again, it, you are becoming an every episode. Like, you're a staple of every episode. I, I don't know what to tell you. Now you're looking for, you're getting one question today. You're not getting five questions like the other day. You're getting this one, and then you're going to have to wait, again, a week or two. Okay? And that's for a good hammock under quilt, 30 to 20 degrees. Usually they say 20 to 30 degrees, not 30 to 20 degrees, but I'll go with it, Nick. Okay? And you also posted the same question twice. Thanks for that. And, um, but you can't spend more than $100. I don't... Here's what I always want to say to people. Now, I get it that everybody has a price range that they need to stay in. I honestly don't off the top of my head know that under $100 thing. Maybe go on like some sites like bushcraft sites or forums. People might want to trade gear out. So that might be a good option. Um, check Outdoor Vitals. They have a lot of good sales. And if you haven't, okay, the, I did a video, get a free pillow. People flipped out because it's like $9 shipping or whatever. It does cost money to ship stuff. It also costs money to package stuff. Um, okay, it doesn't maybe cost $9, but it probably is probably close to that if it's getting shipped across the country or whatever. Bottom line is if you go on and buy those pillows, you get a ton of good good deals from them. So you might have to spend nine bucks and take the chance that one of them deals is like one of their under quilts. I've used their under quilts. They're really good. So you might be able to get one that way. They also have a mummy pod I did a video on, um, sleeping bag, and um, you can hang it and sleep in it with your hammock. That works really well. But here's my thing, if you're right now like, I have a hundred bucks to spend, I know the winter's coming, but maybe save 25 bucks a month over the next couple months and then just get a good underquilt and you will, you'll be thanking me for it, Nick. You will. Because when you buy cheap gear, it ends up just, it's cheap for a reason. It usually doesn't work out too well. It's different getting a deal, but buying cheap stuff, I can tell you personally, because I spent a lot of money on equipment and there's a direct correlation, not, uh, not all the time, but majority of the time, if you buy good high quality equipment, that stuff is usually high quality. And that's the reason that they put the price tag on it because they had to use better pro like better uh, materials, their um, manufacturing, their research, their development, all that stuff was more intense. So the price is a little bit more and it lasts that much longer. So I would say save up, but check out Outdoor Vitals. They might be able to help you out. If one wanted to become a survival bushcraft instructor, what would be recommended for pursuing that goal? Number one, you gotta spend a ton of time outside and go through your paces. Like you can't just read something and go out and teach it. It's the same as you can't just read about sit-ups and think you're gonna have a strong core. It's that kind of thing. So you really gotta get out there, kill it, and then like suck it up. Like sometimes sleep in the rain and see what that is like and, and how do you, recover from that and what's it like to not be able to get a fire all night in super cold conditions and then how do you cover from that now, i'm not saying put yourself in dangerous situations but you need to like go through your paces and and that's the only way so that's the first thing second thing is that you are going to need to do a lot of research learn a lot of techniques and really build a good library in your head of all this different stuff that you can do in different scenarios but on top of that, so you have all this skill, you have all this skill, you have all this experience, you've got to be a good teacher. So that you're going to have to figure out. Not everybody has the gift of teaching. Some people do, some people don't. And I don't know if there's anywhere in between as far as how you're going to bring that along. You can have people help you with that. But um, I know that uh, being married to a principal, that... Um, I mean, some people just don't have the gift of teaching and others do. Jim Rogers threw up in his mouth when um, Ultralight Dan made an appearance. <laughs> Sorry, Jim, I hope you, I hope you, I don't know. What kind of puke was it? Did he chew back up and eat it or what? Can you make barbecue chicken wings in the woods? Now, before I get there, Nick has posted again. Nick. The Dan and Nick show. This is not Nick. This was uh, Zion Honeycutt. Can you make barbecue chicken wings in the woods? We did that. It was like zero degree wings. We should do another wing video because I like that. Okay. Can you feature another video with everybody from your crew? The last video since I saw that was the frog gigging. 
yeah, we, uh, we're always busy teaching. So if it's like weekend, we're out together, we're usually doing this. And then the weekends that it's like totally free that we're gonna do something, I don't wanna pull a camera out. I'm like, drinking my beer. Now my camera shuts off at a certain point and restarts. So that's like such a great indicator for me. It's like, it's time. So listen, this one, other than a quick little um, silly skit there, was super easy. Um, nothing crazy, nothing over the top. Just wanted to get some questions answered. Like I said, a thousand different things happening. So um, this was one in a thousand. Check it off the list and get it done. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this up now, this afternoon, get it posted. It's gonna rain here later today. So this worked out good, coming out in the morning, coffee, all my projects, we're gonna be good to go. So this was Dan Wolwak, question and answer. Leave questions below for the next question and answer on a Wednesday and we will hammer away and give you some more skits. And uh, I think that's it. All right. What was that movie that they like, they're like, oh, I, it's, what is that? Wolf of Wall Street, watch it.